All right, checking a big one off the list. Lots of requests for breath. Breath, uh, most prominently, pro pro prominently, prominently, the GW moment uh, from Sir Matt Klein and his dog Daisy. So. Okay, the first thing you do is the easiest thing in the world. You go like this. <laughs> Seventh fret. E chord. If you don't know an E chord, good God. <laughs> Open E. Here's the little. Here's the first fill. There's two fills. Here's the first fill. Open four on the E string. A string. Open two, three. Slide up to the fifth fret. So that was. C shape right here that's a D chord because it's two frets higher than a C if it was here it'd be a C if it was here it'd be a C sharp but it wouldn't sound any good so we're doing it on the fifth fourth and third frets and that's a D chord plus some other notes plus a fourth and a second or a ninth I don't know same thing all right so we got the A string 5th fret and we're going to go then E string 4th fret and then open A then A2 A4 that's it that's where the thing repeats so that was Octaves, so that means we're going to play the same note twice. Then we're doing A string 11th fret, G string 13th fret, and you want to mute all the rest of the strings with your first finger. So if I were to slow motion strum this, you would hear the following. Nothing. A flat, right? Uh, 11th fret of the A string. Oh, nothing on the D string. A flat again, hello, I just did way too much math for no reason. It's the same note twice. That's the G string, nothing on the B string, nothing on the E string. So you can go ahead and strum away. So I'm gonna call out this finger. This finger just comes along for the ride, relatively in the same position. 11, 11, 9, 11, 11, 12. seven slide down and then you kind of go where am I? yeah 11 11 9 11 9 so in regular motion because Jeff, Jeff is going with his boom bass. <laughs> it's the new word for bass. Boom. Hey, what do you do? I play the boom. Oh, tonight begin with anything. E. I can't do 
doing now? Yeah, man, that's so trying to sing and play that one at the same time. If you sing and play that one at the same time, I'll send you a present of my determining. Anyways, that's it. So the chorus is the intro, and the verse is just E and D. And uh, uh, then we had, go, and it goes, and it goes, and it comes, and it comes, and it goes, and... C sharp power chord, that's fourth fret of the A string. Goes and it goes and it goes and it goes and it goes and can't see it through her face. Wow. That was our octaves on A12 and G14, of course. 12, 12, 11, 12, 11. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Go and it goes and it goes. Grasp what you can. E string fourth fret. If I knew where it was, one fret higher. Take you there. There's much more than this. Much more than this. Then they back to the. Pentatonic. Uh, if you need a refresher on what the minor pentatonic is, go back to my B minor pentatonic one because the E minor pen E minor pentatonic is just the E minor, the B minor pentatonic shape. They're all the same shape, except we're gonna do it on the 12th fret. So we got 12, 15, 12, 14, 12, 14, 12, 14, 12, 15, 12, 15. Here's a bonus for you. You just saw me do it. If you can play, if you can play, you can play these four notes also. The 10th fret of the E string. This note's already in the shape, but it kind of feels like it's a new note because we're changing our hand position. So you got E10, E12, A10, A12. about the E minor pentatonic. Of course, the 12th fret is where all the strings repeat, so that means that this is the same as this. So that means for E minor and only E minor, we can also do open three, open two, open two, open two, open three, open three. And you hear it in this solo when he goes like this. But you hear him bend the G string on the second fret. Now, more specifically in the breath solo, if you want that, that's a that's a big conversation. So we can do that if anybody wants it. But uh, perhaps that's too much for one video, especially since I've already gone nine minutes and there were only two small parts to this song. So what's my problem? It's Friday. Welcome to the end of the special Friday edition of this YouTube channel, How to Play Every Pearl Jam Song in the Entire World. Do you have any questions? Matt, that's for you. Thanks for watching, man. And also, everybody else, requests. We just heard from Ashley. We haven't heard from her in forever, and she wants uh, this one. Off he goes. I know that one off the top of my head, so I might just do it right now. Okay, have a great weekend, and goodbye.